Stephen Nita, a former negotiator for Let's OK, and Danny Gaudet, the chief of Delaney, say they remember talking about the college years ago, but they haven't heard anything since and aren't involved with it. CBC News reached out to the college in Northern Canada to ask why their photos were on their website. No one responded, but the following day, the photos of Nita and Gaudet were gone. Those weren't the only photos that were changed. In a section on the website that describes the Northwest Territories, a photo of what appeared to be a mountainous Scandinavian fjord was the lead image. This was also changed when CBC News noted it to the college. The college takes international students. It's run out of an accounting firm's office in downtown Yellowknife. Dale McCartney is a professor at the University of Fraser Valley in BC. His expertise is in international education. McCartney says he doesn't know much, if anything, about this specific college, but speaking with CBC News generally about private education, he says it can be a bit of a red flag if a college doesn't have a proper campus. Another thing a student could look at, I think a really important one, but a very hard one to look at, is the physical space that the school is in. So if you're in India, being able to figure this out is really challenging. Now, while we previously didn't know the cost for attending the College of Northern Canada, it recently posted its cost for its logistics course on its website. Luke Carroll, CBC News, Yellowknife.